Hello there, Denise here, Junk Junk Journal Junkie UK, um, back with the Queen Victoria Junk Journal that I'm about to make with the kit from, well I'm in the middle of making, with the kit from Artie Mays. So hi everybody, hope you're well. Hello to my new subscribers, lovely to have you subscribed. And hi to my returning ones, thank you very much. Um, so I've been playing with the signature quite a bit. I've tried to lift the camera up a bit higher so I hope you can see more of what's going on. Although you might not see it as close. Gosh, I'm puffed. Ooh, right, um, so this is what I've done with the signature so far. I think last time you saw it, uh, yeah, I'm right. Last time you saw it, it was just the pages from the Artemis kit and I'd added one from the book about Victoria's letters. Okay, so if you've seen the other videos, you'll know that I'm using three other books. If you haven't, you have to pop back and see them. So um, this is a piece of coffee dyed and food stained paper that I had in my stash that I'd done myself. And I used it for the front pages. It's a little bit stiffer. I like a fairly stiff page for your very first one. And I put the picture from the book Elizabeth of England, <laughs> my memory's getting there. Um, the official, official portrait of Queen Victoria when she was coronated. Okay, so I've put that on the front. So then I've got the Artie Mace page that you've seen. I've sewn a bit of lace on the side of it. I found a dark stained coily. And this is a page out of the stamp book that I've got. It's the only whitish page in the um, the signature so I might have to uh, do a bit of inking on it and bring it down but it's about the stamps from Victoria's period uh, Victoria's period uh, of rain which is quite a big one so I thought that was quite interesting so journal space at the moment this is the page that we did together or one side of the page that we did together um, from the letters book that I was talking about so this is the envelope that um, we did I did on camera and this is where I've decided to put it in the book. I'm actually putting it into the signature there. Okay. Um, and it's got that lovely journaling uh, space on the back, although it is quite, um, I need to open it. I need to remember to do that before I sew it in because <laughs> I haven't opened a side yet. So I'll have a nice jumbo tag in there. And um, it's a nice heavy piece, so I can stick something on it as well if I want to. So a lovely piece of old yellowed music paper. The collage, which I had in the middle from Artie Mays, I've now changed its place. I've put a couple of pages from Victoria of England yeah, um, in the book. And all I've did, because it was, it is a very old book, um, I, I chopped a couple of edges off other pages and put them down the middle. Let's see if I can show you when I open it up. Oh yeah, you can see a little bit there, look. Just to strengthen that middle, because it had a lot of... Um, own signature in it so it won't fall apart hopefully when we sew it and use it to put my arm around here now okay so that's another page from the kit and that's the middle now in the middle I am going to put um, I think the music one because I do love this absolutely love this picture of Victoria and I've used her a few times already so I'll wait and see. I might just pop this one in the pocket with the letter that I always put in the journals from me explaining about its purpose etc. So yeah I think that one but I'll make them both up so I need to back them. Um, I like to back them so they're just a little bit stronger and I like to put something interesting on them so I've got a couple of pages from the Victoria of England book and although they'll be sideways on and you'll probably only be able to read what's on the flap sometimes it's just interesting to get you know little snippets of bits of information in these things so we definitely need to stick one of those on today uh, on camera okay so that's the other page of the book more of the kit the paper so that's the back of the um that envelope and i was going to hide it with um a big picture for a pet book page or something but i quite like the color of the envelope i don't I don't necessarily have to cover it over and I thought once the signature's sewn in if I could just glue a dab across there see if I can find something I could then have 
a little tuck spot there and a little tuck spot there which would be a little bit different so I think that's what I'm going to do so journaling again um, that lovely little this is the back of the page we did together picture of Princess Victoria out of the book the old book and then we did this together the back of it it's a very tight pocket now it's sewn so it just wants a little tag in it maybe one of these from the kit maybe a bit bigger I don't know we'll see so kit page the rest of the stamp the rest of the doily love that page as well that's the, uh, part of the kit and this is the other envelope that is a flip out that we did together so I thought I'd put it there on the back of that nice strong piece and seal it down there and open it up there and we probably will put something um, on there maybe from the kit we'll see so that that is the back page and that will need something covering it over as well just to cover all that up okay so that's the signature as is um, the next thing I will be doing will be the cover and I think I might need to do that off camera because I'm pretty much decided I'm going to do it with um, velvet patchwork velvet which was very much a Victorian fabric and I can't sew on camera and it wouldn't be interesting if I did okay so you may well see the cover just about made uh, next video so we just need to do a few bits um, on the signature before I can sew that into the cover but I want to get this stuck first so it can be um, sticking <laughs> stick it so it can be sticking that's a good good way to explain it isn't it drying that's what I meant stick it so it can be drying so let's add another piece of paper under it and my new purple Elmer's glue at least it's something bright for you to look at we can't say it's um, a boring color can we whoa don't know why I folded that paper over I need it all really anyway good morning everybody hope you're well I'm fine enjoying the crafting weather's a lot cooler today pleasant no, no bright sunshine oh it dries that you see it's drying before the purple is going before I've even got it glued strange maybe it's because it's so warm still although it's not as warm as it has been like I was just saying it's quite pleasant it's warmish at the moment in here because I've had to shut the uh, patio doors due to the noise that may arrive okay so whoa so like I say only the top bit will show anyway but I want it to be a similar thickness and now my next new toy oh, what have I done with it oh no I've just been using it put it back where it came from then Denise put on the glue I love this I really love it sorry if I'm boring you <laughs> I am easily pleased at times but uh, yeah it's made my life so much easier so um, did you go over and have a look at uh, Tatty Treasures and Friends website website Facebook it's, uh, there is a lot more uh, new people arriving I wondered if any of you guys went over there what did I do with my lid um, I bring it up because when I mentioned it in my video yesterday I don't know why I didn't and I was only thinking about it afterwards but I never mentioned ooh, glue on my roller now I never mentioned um, Karen at Junkbox Journals and that was rather rude of me actually because she uh, I think she gave Tanya at Tatty Treasure she gave her an awful lot of help setting it up and uh, you know has helped to run it right from the beginning so as yeah, soon as I've reali I realised what I'd done I thought well that was a bit not very nice was it so sorry sorry Karen I didn't mean to forget you um, so go and have a look at Karen's channel as well she does some lovely um, journaling if you've not been over there in fact I'll put a link in in my description at the end of this video 
I thought I was supposed to be leaving this to dry. See, I get talking. I'm cutting it wet. It's not a good idea, is it? Because it might wrinkle. So, I've started. Shall I finish? Or shall I leave it? I think I'll finish now. What's the worst that can happen? Um, oops. I don't know if I've got anything else to tell you. I told you in the last video about what I'm up to next. I think uh, this is going to take at least two more, maybe three videos to get completed. Maybe. Sometimes once you get your signature done, it it goes quickly, but we'll see. I want to share as much of it, of it with you as I can, but um, some of the things are just difficult to do without, you know, showing on camera without putting my head over and all that. That sort of malarkey. Yeah, I've bent it a little bit there, but any excuse to have a play with my new tool. Beautiful envelope, isn't it? I won't. Obviously, I'm not going to do the foldings and things. I'll wait until it uh, wait until it dries. Like I said, I was going to. So, my glue bit. So many things to do. Oh, I've just spotted that that I was using for a for a pokey I dragged it out because it's like it's a bit like Victoriana isn't it these are the sort of things that um, the brightly coloured and highly decorated pots that they had I've obviously backed it for a tag or a belly band in another project but I was just yeah it's the exact size of the page let's have a look let's take this off and then I'll show you if I'm not in camera I will be in a minute <laughs> open that out yeah, so wherever I decide to do that, it's that envelope that I'm doing. Looking at the back of it, hiding the back flap. I'm just wondering if that would go on there as a... Absolutely fits. As a side tuck. Do you know, I think I quite like that. And there are so many, there's loads of tags and uh, journal cards with the kit, loads. So the more pockets I can get in, yeah, that, I like that a lot. In fact, shall we stick that on now? Right, I don't want that too far in, do we? That's got to be open that side, isn't it? It is open that side. Okay. on there I think I might uh, I think I might just go with a bit of fabric tack I won't go too close to the crease because it will squoosh into it and I want it to turn even the glue is not too gloopy today should I have said that I'm attempting fate Well, the purple hasn't dried on my cloth, has it? Let's turn it in some a bit of inside out. Really vintagey. It must be a really old envelope. That feels lovely. It feels really thick, like the page in the old book. I love the way that turned out as well. I'm loving a lot today, aren't I? Must be one of those moods. Okay, do we put this straight? Don't, because it's down well. I don't think that'll catch when we put anything in it. Feel some stuck somewhere. I wonder if I ought to stitch it before I glue it on. Although I've done a lot of stitching in the book. No, I think I quite like it. What I will do is ink it. Um, shall we have the dark one? Excuse me. I haven't washed my dobbers yet. I am going to. I just moved my wire out of the way. That's not much better. Oh, <laughs> did you see it then? Yeah, I'm being a bit keen with it again. 
I always forget when I use this darker one. Oh, don't need to do that, it's not going to be on the show. I love it once the signature properly starts coming together. Oh, there we go, I'm loving it again. <laughs> I like it when the signature comes together, it's one of my favourite parts. Yeah, no glue on the piece I've got my hand on. Let's not muck that up, we certainly don't want this upside down. I'm second guessing myself now. <clears throat> I suppose I could back it onto another piece of paper if I did it wrong. There's always a way, isn't there? <laughs> I still wasn't sure. Could you tell how I hesitated? Not too close to the edge yet. Good. I don't think I need to brayer that. <laughs> that might be a step too far. Okay. So just while that dries and the other pocket dries, we'll have a quick look at um, anything else we want to get in or what we've got to put in. All right, so I cut these for, um, from the kit, four pockets out. And I think I'll put two together on either on a, a piece of card or on the page depending on where they're going. So they're like one on top of the other. But I was looking at the other two and I was thinking about uh, gluing them together like um, sort of an envelope file folder sort of thing. Not too bright. You know, so they could just be tucked in with bits in. I, uh, I do like to add into my journals some spare bits from the uh, the kit that I haven't used. So if whoever gets a journal particularly, you know, arty or wants to change something or add something, they've got some of the bits there. Yeah, I mean, I only want those two as actual pockets in the book. So let's, that's the lid off my glue. Let's stick them together and see, shall we? I do like to use the bits in different ways if I can, it keeps it interesting. And I'm sure that's what the digital uh, designers want you to do. Go create. I mean, you could, if it's brand new to it or it was your thing, just cut everything out. Uh, you know, back the journal cards as journal cards, put the pockets in as pockets and you would have a, you know, a beautiful journal. Absolutely beautiful and there'd be nothing wrong with it. But just to, um, you know, if you like to personalise it and release your creative side. Yeah, I like that. It's quite nice. Yeah. So that will take something chunky as well, rather than a thin tag. It could actually be hinged on if you wanted to. I'm just going to clip it in, but I'm pleased with that. Okay, so I was showing you what we've got to go in, wasn't I? So there's two pockets to sit on a page and the one when it's dry. Um, to clip in. There was another envelope. Oh yeah. So um, this little envelope and this little card. Um, that's not stuck. That. That's not stuck at all. Now then, I hope this Elmer's glue is not going to be my downfall because that's what I stuck it on with. Um, I'll give it another go. It says it's extra strong permanent so if it was a little bit I could think that I'd missed it but I definitely have not missed all that when I was sticking it down I'll give it one more go that's concerned me a little bit though especially on this because it I was about to fold it over and um, put some creases in it so that wouldn't be good if it's not sticking you know with the two pieces stuck together and obviously if you print on the back instead of stick on the back you'd be absolutely fine but I like to stick pages together and change what I'm putting on things I don't always want to print digitals I like to use lots of other things in my journals so 
So has this come apart? Because I did them at the same time. It has looked. And I can feel like the waxy feel. Mm, it even feels a bit gluey. Oh, well, that's a concern. Yeah, I can peel it if I try. I definitely would not have missed that much. That's empty as well. I definitely would not have missed that much of the uh, the gluing. So I only got three little ones, and that's that's one gone. I'll have to come back to this tomorrow and see. I was going to do it today, but uh, I'll better see what happens with it. And I've got another one of these printed out. Oh dear. Oh well, never mind. Let's not let's not get down about it. If it doesn't work, we just won't. Oh, that was well done, Denise. We just won't use it again. We won't buy it again. Simple as. Well, you made a right mess of that. Got more glue on the outside than you did on the in. Okay, so we'll let that. Uh, oh, oh, the back's the same. Look. Mm, yeah. Gosh, it's like a pocket. Like it's just been stuck on the edges. I know there's glue on there because I can feel it's sticky. It's not dried. It surely doesn't take more than... It's been well over 24 hours. I don't know that I can get right in there now. Okay. This is your last chance, glue. Concern is that I'm using it on the album as well, on the journal as well. Right, we'll leave those to dry and see what tomorrow brings. And with this envelope that we've just stuck, it feels stuck at the moment, so maybe it unsticks when it dries out. Okay, I need a little drink, excuse me. Right, let's carry on looking at what we've got to put in. So I've got this which I thought would make a nice um, side pocket or a lace pocket. Now it might go on the very back cover. I don't know. It could go in here like that. I just thought it was quite Victorian-y. Um, excuse me a moment. These are the things we've got to put in. So that's the pull out the pocket. I know we made these together so I'm not going to spend time on them. The uh, flip down. Two big journal cards that I've backed with. Really strong card. I think it's serial packet card actually. So they're two really big strong journal cards. Three tags. I'm just wondering if they look unstuck as well. Yeah, three tags um, from the kit that I backed onto some of that paper remember that I've used already it was um, a scrap pad paper it's quite thick I just liked the grungy color of it so three big tags from the kit yeah look definitely not impressed with that glue that one stuck one stuck and one not that's bizarre and I don't you can you see it's shiny there is glue on there Anyway, those um, came with the kit as well. Journal cards, that's what I was trying to say, journal cards. Sorry if you can hear the children in the garden. And the final journal card, so I've got all that lot to go in once the signature's done. And I said I was gonna um, sit and pull some more bits out of the book. Oh, there's these six small cat, uh, journal cards as well. No, they're not, they're tags. So I'll back them and cut them out, but whether we'll use all six, I doubt very much. So yeah, I've got a few things out of the book. How proud I felt to be the queen of such a nation, Victoria. Another little uh, thing she said, allegedly. 
I don't understand why it's called a house and not a palace. And Lord Melbourne said to her, you can call it whatever you want, ma'am. So this is something I found which is similar to the piece that was in the Artie Mays kit, which was the free for the, the um, voucher for the free loaf. And this is a, um, yes, it's a ticket <laughs> into the coronation to go and see her in Westminster Abbey being coronated, coronated, crowned. <laughs> um, a young picture of Victoria, which I thought was lovely. And then I cut out with the fancy scissors again a little bit about um, the first thing she did when she was queen and how she changed things with her mum. I'll just leave that for whoever owns the journal to read. These bits you saw, and that's just another piece of that paper. Okay, so there's quite a few more bits there and then all the other bits that were cut out from the kit. So, I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to stick that now with that other piece. I think um, I'll probably, because of the glue issues, I'll probably call that a, a video now and um, go and hunt out my tacky glue. And in the next video we'll do, we'll hopefully have the signature sewn together and we'll be able to put some of the uh, ephemera in. Okay, so thanks ever so much for sticking with me through that. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you liked the content and uh, come back for another video soon. Okay, thanks guys. Have a lovely day. Bye bye. Oh, hello again, guys. So I've just um, stitched the signature into a cover. So it's a cover that I had started, and I've just added a bit to. Um, it's got a snippet, a snippet piece at the bottom. Um, but I thought it'd be nice to get the signature in and get some some actual crafting done in it, rather than messing about um, any longer. So. Um, I'll just tag this on the end of the last video that uh, ended a little bit too early. Okay, so I'll, we'll look more at the um, the cover later because it's far from finished, as you can see. That's not going to be the right inside. Uh, but for now, it's it's in, it's sewn in, so we can start putting things next video into the um, journal itself. So we'll have something, sorry, not there. So something much, you know, darker and more. Victorian y in there. Um, so I'll just do a quick flip through so you can see it's the same page as you saw. I don't think I've changed anything around. I haven't inked the pages or anything yet. It's just it does tend to look completely different once it's in a book. It needs training a bit yet as well. So that was stitched in. I still didn't open it. It's a good job I'm having it open at that side. I can do that with my scissors. I was so disappointed in that glue, you could probably tell. Okay, so these all need inking and training a little bit. But at least now we can start building it, start putting things on it. Oh yeah, so that's going to be glued down across there and made into a, a pocket. And that little side took there and again we need to do something on the inside so now we can start building the next video and put in uh, putting pockets in and then seeing which ones we need to make okay thank you guys see you later bye bye